This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories, and welcome to my review of the movie Watchmen. And with it, for the movie and the show, I will have Watchmen movie and Watchmen show for the videos on my channel, so I don't have three videos called Watchmen review. And with it, I looked at the and watched the ultimate cut of Watchmen. This is my first time watching that version of it. And with it, I think this is a decent movie. I know that it is not a popular movie. With it, I know that a lot of people do not like it. And with it, I started watching a little bit for school since we did read the comic, which is why. I have all of these out, although we only started the show. We also started the movie, but I decided to go and watch the extended cut in its full entirety, even though we even watched the standard edition in class, but still, the movie is really good. I think it's, at least it's good. I don't think it's great or amazing. Something not as good as the comic, but I think it's still an enjoyable story, and it does change some things, but not change too much. I really enjoyed watching it, and with it, I think it's cool to have the little thing with the pirate comic being put in as an animated little series. I don't know if it goes exactly the same as the comic does in the full of the comic. But it's still a little interesting thing, and everything is mainly accurate to the source material, besides the fact that instead of an alien invasion, which Ozymandias fakes, he fakes an attack from Dr. Manhattan, and I think that's just to make it a little more believable, since aliens are pretty crazy, but in this version it's just... Just made it a little more realistic, at least to the in-universe standards, but I think that's one of the things they could have changed. But I think they do a good job adapting the story. And with that, I think that might be the main problem people have, it, is that they only did a good job. I think people wanted an amazing adaptation, but this just wasn't it, and... I think people put the thing a little too high of a light, and it's really impossible to live up to that. And with it, I know the show is a lot more popular, although that serves as a sequel, and yeah, it's interesting. Well, also, I'm thinking of doing a review of Doomsday Clock, which is the sequel to Watch Ready in the Comics. We'll probably be reading that soon, but next week's going to be a lot of holiday stuff in the time leading up to Christmas. If I want to know what you think, please let me know in the comments. We'll see you on the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen, and may the force be with you.